in the in, in the five prayers, there are two sunnas before. So I think you. And then the second question she asked, question she asked was, do we begin with sunnas or, or with fards? Right. So whether we begin with sunnas or with fards really depends on which salah it is. Okay. So I'll go through them. So you know, fajr begins with two sunnas, and then there's two fards. Dhuhr begins with four sunnas. Right. Then there's four fards, and then there's two sunnas and two nafils, and then. Uh, Asr begins with four sunnas and then four fard. Maghrib begins with three fard. According to some of the a'imma, there are two nafils in between the adhan and the iqama in addition. So Imam Abu Hanifa prefers that there is no nafil in between the adhan and the iqama, uh, whereas um, Imam uh, Shaf, Imam Malik, and the other imams they consider it there to be two sunnas before the maghrib, um, um, and then. Uh, in Isha, there are four sunnas, four fards, followed by two sunnas, two nafils, and then there are the three witrs at the end. And some narrations say that the Prophet وسلم, used to perform two rakats um, uh, afterwards as well. But the core kind of rakats um, uh, are those. So the answer to your second question is basically varied in that... Uh, do we begin with sunnah? Do we begin with fard? It depends. So all of the prayers... Um, have sunnas before them. Some are mu'akkada, so the four before uh, dhuhr and the four before uh, fajr are Im- are extremely emphasized. So uh, you shouldn't miss them unless you, unless you have a really really good reason. Um, the the four before asr and the four before isha are not as emphasized. So you should, but you should still try your best to pray them. Um, and then there is some difference of opinion about sunnah before maghrib. Um, uh, according to the Hanafi mother, for example, there are no sunnas um, uh, before Maghrib. According to others, there are. Okay?